so much for watching for vlogmas day 20 i've been up since five o'clock this morning i have no earthly idea why just have been waking up really early the light in here is terrible i'm trying to turn on my ring light um but welcome you guys we're excited to have you whoa <laughs> excited to have you with us today um so today is my 35th birthday and um it's been a really relaxing morning. It's still really yucky weather, like really dreary weather. So that's not good, but that's okay. Um, we've drank coffee and I made cinnamon rolls for Mark and I had one too. Um, Mark loves cinnamon rolls. And now we're just kind of getting up and getting ready. I didn't do a lot of makeup. I put a little bit of concealer and mascara and lip gloss and now I'm like oh wow I need some more makeup but we have that staff Christmas party tonight me and David so I was just gonna wait and like do my makeup then but maybe I should do it now I thought I looked okay till I got on the camera who cares I'm gonna let my skin kind of rest a little bit today um but anyway you guys come with us I think we're gonna go to lunch so um Everybody's asking me where I want to go, and we're going to go do Mexican, because the kids really like that, and I like that, and um, yeah, you guys come with us and spend my birthday with us. You want some cake? You want to get some Ooh, oh, I've never been to this one. Still on my street? Yeah. Oh, I talked nice. to the lady that's the over there. There's a lady that's in our mommy and group that's part. Do I get the same lady? That's from Ooh, them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's that says ten percent off if you bring your cup in. So you've oh, got a, that's you got cool. A Twenty-five dollar gift certificate. Thank y'all. And it was supposed to be a white mug. Oh. Because well. they asked me, they have black and white. I said, I like I said, give, like blue. I said give me does. the white one. I like that. <laughs> well, yeah. You're welcome. Milk some cake. This is quick icing. Hey everybody, so I feel like I haven't talked to y'all all day. I'm not sure exactly even what I have clips of. I think you guys saw me opening my present for my mom and dad. Um, we went to lunch. Is the break on? No. That's a weird noise. Um, we went to lunch and I didn't get any footage of that, but it was really good. It's always crazy with the kids and trying to give everybody their food and Mark was fussy and all that, but we went and had Mexican for lunch, which is always my favorite. And then we came home and they surprised me with a cake. And then mom and dad have my birthday presents at their house, but they had to buy me something anyway. I'll get them when we go home next week, but they forgot to bring them. And so they got me a gift card and a coffee cup. And then Jen also got me a travel mug. Today's like the day of the travel mugs. I'm like, we well, all knew stop. You one. We all, they all knew. Jen got me a travel mug that made me cry that said, you're the sister I got to choose, which was so sweet. I love her so much. And I've always, I have always wanted a sister. I never had one. And she is, we're like sisters. And so that was so sweet. And then my mom and dad got me a mug from our local coffee shop. And that was really good. I can't wait to go check that place out. It's one I haven't been to before. We came home and I opened up those presents and you saw me do that. And then we all just took some chill time excuse me it was like rainy and gross all day so there wasn't really anything else to do but just kind of chill i don't think i ever fell asleep i kind of cuddled with nate <laughs> as much as you can cuddle with him 
and then we had coffee and we just played and all that and then we get ready to go to our Christmas party and that's where we're going right now I should have got you David to get you a shot of my outfit but it's that same shirt I showed you guys when I went shopping a week it's ago it's picture here well that means I'm have to take the picture <laughs> I'm, just, I'm joking um, if, if you want to um uh anyway it's the same shirt that I got when I was shopping that day that like plaid shirt and then I was gonna wear it with jeans but I just thought leggings would be more comfortable so I just ended up doing leggings she and, looks beautiful oh thanks I curl my hair and all of that so we're gonna head there now um is there anything you want to say no, I'm just, I'm just excited to have the most beautiful woman in the world in my heart tonight. Aw, mom and dad are so sweet to watch the kids for us and um, come all this way to watch the kids for us. So I'm going to try to relax and have fun. You guys, it has nothing to do with anybody else but me, but I get really anxious at like parties and stuff. I don't know why. So you guys let me know. This is what I've heard people say, like how to know if you're an introvert or how to know if you're an extrovert, if you don't know. When you're in a party situation, when you're in a group of people situation, do you get like drained or do you get energized? Do you look forward to going to a group of people or do you get less? I get really excited. anxious and I don't know why that is. It's something that I really want to work on. I have a lot of, and it's so funny because you guys see me on here and I'm talking like nobody's business. I don't get nervous at all. There's nobody else in the room. To me, like it's just easy to just, and it's not like people are like, oh, well, you know, you can edit it out or whatever. But even when I'm live talking to you guys, I don't get nervous. So I don't know what it is. It's something I've always been like very shy and, um, I don't even like making phone calls like to talk to Walgreens. <laughs> like, I just don't. I just get really bad social anxiety. So I'm really trying to break out of that and deal with that. But it is something that kind of haunts better. me. It haunts me, y'all. So I'm trying to like just enjoy it being out tonight. Um, I think I told you guys that we were going to go to the church and have like a catered dinner. Well, all that got changed and we're going over to our pastor's house, which will be fun. We had to bring a white elephant gift, so we have that. And I'm not sure exactly what else we're going to be doing, just kind of hanging out with the staff and stuff. So should be fun. I will update you guys on the way home and tell you how it went. 35 has been a really good birthday so far. Um, it's been very low key, which is very nice. So I've never even heard of that place. Yeah, check that out. There is a lot of pizza places, places yeah. here. Pizza and Mexican. <laughs> if you come, I wonder if that would mix well. <laughs> well, yeah, like taco pizza is yeah, good. Taco pizza. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Mexican restaurants and there's a lot of pizza restaurants. It's kind of weird. And then like very few other kinds. There's some Chinese, there's some American, but mostly it's Mexican and pizza. So anyway, we're headed there now and we'll see you guys when we get done. Hey you guys, so we are done at the party. It was so much fun. It actually really was. Um, you guys know I have, I told y'all, I have like fear of parties. <laughs> but it was actually really fun. We had Mexican food, two Mexican foods in one day. It's like my perfect birthday. And Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fine with Mexican for every meal, literally. Like for the rest of my life, probably I could deal with it. Um, anyway, we had that. And there was lots of goodies and stuff. I didn't even eat any goodies because I'm so full of like all the goodies we've had lately. Um. And then we played some games. We played the, the white elephant game. What did we end up with? I ended up with a throw blanket, like a fuzzy blanket, a and oh, there's like oh sticks on the side of the road. Um, and then like a bag of Hershey's chocolate. You ended up with a heated, like a <laughs> another coffee cup, but it's like one that you can plug into a cigarette lighter and keep warm. So that'll be cool. Um, now that we're both drinking coffee, we need even more mugs. So we ended up with like four mugs today. We don't need today. more mugs. We need more travel. Travel. Stuff. Well, yeah. that's, we ended up with four travel mugs yeah. today. Yeah. I got one from Jen, one from my mom and dad, one from you, and one you won tonight. And then we played, have you guys ever played the right left game? We used, we did it once um, for a party we did with our creative arts team in Texas where you have like a gift and you, uh, you read this like story mm -hmm. and they have the words right and left mixed all through it and you pass it like everybody passes it to their right or everybody passes it to their left that was fun what did, what gift card did you end up with 
Taco uh, Bell. You were Taco have, Bell. We have Taco Bell and Burger. And I ended up with Burger King. Um, so that was fun. So you can have Taco Bell and I'll take Burger King. That's fine because I'm not a big Burger King fan. And I like Burger King. Actually, I don't mind. Their new chicken sandwich is really good. Um, but it, I need to do a taste test for y'all, although I've already tasted it. Here's my review. <laughs> I was talking to Faster about this because he likes my taste test where I did the chicken sandwiches. Uh, we were talking about it, but I didn't do Burger King, and I really, really like their new chicken sandwich. I think it's the best one out of all the chicken sandwich What warm. other one in our area would you compare it to? Well, McDonald's has one. KFC has one. Um... We don't have a Popeyes or, or a, a well, Zaxby's. You, well, you can wait till Chick-fil-A comes to town and their food truck. Yeah. So anyway, the the Burger King one's really good, but our Burger King has the worst service. A couple times we went there, I've had to contact like customer service and get our money back because it's been such terrible service. Like we don't get what we ordered, um, and the food is like so cold and gross. And so I've like vowed I'm not going to go back. But we can either save it and go to another Burger King, or we can just try again. <laughs> I'll just go on my lunch break one day. <laughs> anyway, um, and then we played Tinsy. Have you guys ever played Tinsy? It's like a dice game. It was really fun. I like simple games. I don't have to like think too hard about. There's not a lot of strategy in, you know. I mean, there's some strategy, sort of. Tinsy, not so much. You're just trying to roll. You have 10 dice, and you're trying to roll the same, pretty much, well, there's different ways you can play it, but you're trying to roll the dice, like, all the same number or you can do like okay this roll we're gonna roll all odd numbers or whatever anyway it's probably making no sense unless you've ever played it and then after that we played Farkle which I've heard people talk about that game I've seen that game but I've never actually played it and it was actually really fun it kind of reminded me of Yahtzee but not as hard as Yahtzee like you don't have to there's not as much strategy with it there's not a checklist you have to get no there's not a checklist you have to get basically each roll is its own thing and then you add up the score at the end so that was really fun, and then we were like the first people to leave because I'm real tired. Everybody was kind of leaving, though. Everybody was kind of leaving, and um, y'all, I've been getting up at 5 a.m. lately, like randomly 5 a.m., and then I go to bed at like 9 o'clock, so it's 9.15 now. It went by really fast. We were there for over three hours, and we have church tomorrow and all that, so we're going to go back home and um, church tomorrow get everything ready for that and all of that so speaking of we're just driving by the church it was a really good birthday i've been answering your comments all day all of you saying happy birthday and all my facebook friends saying happy birthday so i feel very very loved i love you guys so much thank you for spending today with me if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below let's see what comment can you believe i've been getting them to leave emojis if you are an introvert what what is a good emoji for an introvert? Uh, the little the little monkey covering his eyes. Yeah. Okay. Or, or covering his mouth. <laughs> the little monkey covering his mouth is probably better. Okay, so if you're an introvert, little monkey covering his mouth. Or what what's the emoji where like the uh, person's uneasy? Yeah. You know, the uneasy or, teeth yeah. Or the or uneasy yeah. teeth. That would, that would work too. If you are a party lover and you love being around people and it's like your jam, like the party hat emoji. Or the hug emoji. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> I like parties when I'm there, but it does, it, it's like that introverted thing. Like I, I, I just analyze myself too much. I take my, and like I said, it has nothing to do with anyone else. It's all internal. And it's something I really am trying to work on. You did good tonight. It was, it really was a lot of fun. So. That is it for today, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time.